Good morning, everybody. Here we are, halfway through our Craft Ember Challenge for uh, five or ten minutes every day. Just a little bit of me time to get you through the day, which is why I'm trying my best to get it here in the morning if I possibly can. So let's get to it, shall we? Number 15. Remember, this is the top, so we just need to remember that because, of course, when we're putting all this together, we need to know which way up these shapes are because they're not always really obvious. So here we go, put a little cross in there. Still remembering that's the top, let's just check it. Yeah, that's the top, okay. So what's in store for us today? It's quite um, a busy little tile as well. So first things first, I wanna use a little bit of a border piece because down this side here, we, we do have a border. So I'm gonna put in this line here there. Just giving me a little bit of an idea, see? And then I can line it up. And again, I'm still in pencil because I don't know if I'm going to, I'm not going to use all of this border here, but it's nice to put it in to start with. Okay, so that is that bit done. Good morning, everybody. A little bit earlier today, but it's a good thing, right? <laughs> okay, so where to start with this? I think I'm going to sort of come in here. Now it's up a little bit and along just a tad. And what I'm going to do is create a loop and it's going to come through there. Okay, like that. I think that's the, the best bit I can do today to give us a little bit of a directional where it's coming from. Okay, so that's that bit. And then here, I've got like um, a bit of a shape like this. Okay, this bit we, we know quite well because it's that kind of pattern. And we know that that's uh, one of the themes that's running through. Same with the loops. So we can come ahead and put that in. I know what that is. Okay. And then here, which is why I did, I did this one, it's going to come round and it's going to come. ignore this bit as the border. Think about, there's the middle and down a bit. There. So that's not too bad. Look, it's sort of uh, fallen on the edge of that border there. And then it's going to come down past the middle there. Okay. Again here, we're going to have another one of those shapes. Put that in it. Okay, so far so good, that's fine. And around this bit here, we've got a little bubble, but it's gonna be a bit more than a bubble. It's sort of a full blown curve with that bubble on the end there. All right, and then I'm gonna come back around. It's gonna be a bit wider at the bottom. And then at the top here, another part bubble. Again, it's sort of, let's put that in first. It's coming around here. Okay. And then this is coming into this bit here. And then that is coming around there. So it's a bit like a large comma. Okay. And here, another one, two loops, so I can decide which bit am I going to have over the top there, and another loop there. Okay, let's sort of uh, put the pen on this and see where we're going. Alright, cup of tea. Alright, so I'm going to put this bit in first. I'm going to go a little bit lower down just to give that little loop a fighting chance there. Okay, and then put those shapes in. This one's probably got another, but I'm, I'm going to sort of leave it until I get through there. And then here we've got some lines. I'm going to put those in in pencil just to remind me later. Okay. Let's get this one in here. Let's put 
this in that way and then that one there and then loops around we go okay i'm gonna fill that in in a short while and then the loops so here we go i'm gonna go a bit further up with that one just to give it a little bit of space around that one and that one and that one in there like that okay i'm gonna uh, flatten that one off because this bit here look i'm gonna fill in and then i can put those loops i reckon if you can do yesterday's you can do any of them yesterday's was a little bit tricky we really needed to think about that but today's not so bad so let's put this one in round we go and then this one here i'm gonna come in and round and i'm gonna put So round the outside, I'm going to come in with these little shapes. Now this morning, look, I'm leaving a bit of a gap in between them because then I can put that on the outside. But if you want to do the outside one first, then you can sort of gauge it. So that would be like the outside they'd be touching. It doesn't matter which way. And then come on the inside. You see? Looking good, isn't it? Now let's put this one in. And again, this one's going to be... It's going to get a bit wider as it goes down. And we're going to put that shape in again. Thicken it up a bit. And then around here, see this time... It, I'm going to put them all in that way first. Go all the way around the outside section. And then I can put the middle bit in. Okay, whichever works easiest. There you are. And let's put in this one in. Also, thank you for joining me this morning, everybody. It's a little bit earlier. But I think that's a good thing. Great start to the day, isn't it? Put a little loop there. And then, of course, any of this border that I can see, please feel free to come in with a, a straight edge if you prefer. I just only got that little bit there. And then this section, of course, we're going to fill in with balls, just like the rest of the border. There you go. So you just sort of start it with them quite large and then sort of move your way around, fill in the little gaps. And just as before, I'm going to leave that top section there because it's definitely going to join on. And a little bit there, sort of same there. See, it'll probably join in there. So I'm just going to swap my pen over. I just want something a little bit bigger because I'm going to fill in some of these gaps. Okay, so uh, for sure, these bits here. Uh, it just gives it a little bit of shape, doesn't it? You can clean up any lines as you're going. Right. And then same in here. And again, if you want to, I'm going to add a bubble in there because it's quite a large shape to fill with ink. If you want to do that, you can. You can add more. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna... Let's do one there. Let's fill that bit in. And then around here, let's have a look. Oh, we've got this line here, haven't we? You can see that underneath. So that's going to be part border too. Let's miss a bit. And then, of course, any little spaces between those bubbles. I'm going to uh, fill with a bit of ink. Okay. And again, I'm not going to do much there. I'm going to leave that bit because, of course, going to go on down to the next one. These bits I'm going to leave. 
Oh, Pat, have a lovely, a lovely weekend. So, yeah, sometimes these they, they take a little bit of thinking about, but it all makes sense. And because it's so small, it's, it's only a little piece. You can stop and rewind it a few times, and uh, or even take a screenshot of it. And usually it works itself out. Because, uh, a lot of these now, they're starting to be the same patterns, just in a slightly different format. Oh, we just uh, we don't know where they're heading, that's all. Okay, a little bit of shading here and here. And then we're going to do highlights on those little bits and on the larger bubbles. Any larger bubbles there. And then let's have a look. We've got to have a little bit underneath there because all of them have. Let's have a bit of shading this side and under there. And we've got to do top and bottom of these. So don't worry about being completely neat. You don't need to colour it in there unless you are adding colour. Let's have a little bit down there as well. Because, of course, in comes our tortillon. And that's going to do the blending for us. Just nice and easy. Take your time with it. Not much pressure at all. And you can see how it sort of works its way in there. The bits there. And along there. It's kind of a quick one to shade. It took a little bit of focus to draw it, but that's what it's all about. And while you're focusing on this, you're not worrying about what's going on around you. So that's what we're aiming for. Okay. So there it is. I'm going to leave this bit because until I've done this, I'm not sure where that one's going. But there we are, number 15. Now, 15 sits uh, up. Oh, next to three. We could have put it next to three. Let's see if it joins, shall we see? What is it? I didn't even notice that. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You see how that works on the border? Because we're measuring it each time. So the only thing I would need to add there is that little bit there. Look at that. That's a real happy little section there, isn't it? Look at that, how that joins. Okay, so have a good one. Have a, have a little bit of a think about this one. If you want to connect the two, then it's probably the best. I didn't even realise that. But that's a real happy little way to go. And that's what uh, really makes that cross in the middle helpful. So should be good. Um, if you're around this afternoon, I'll see you this afternoon for our regular tile at two o'clock. Other than that, I will catch you at some point tomorrow for number 16. So have a good one, everybody. And see you soon. Take care. Bye.